Hey everybody, how's it going? Tustpot here, and I'm just going to show you guys this awesome new thing by NVIDIA that was announced yesterday at CES in Las Vegas. And this is um, something called Project Shield, which it sounds really awesome, and usually I don't do this sort of news stuff, but I thought I should for this because it's just like awesomeness, I think. And uh, what it is basically, Project Shield, NVIDIA is going to try and make their own like portable gaming system but not just for like its own titles but for like other things like it's got Android Jelly Bean on it so you can play your favorite Android games like mobile games and look at this it's got a full size controller and it's got you know, see uh, this one it's got back triggers and stuff it looks kind of like an Xbox controller with the the buttons right here but it can play Android games, and the cool thing about it, the thing that got me really interested about this thing, is it can play PC games. If you have a computer that has a GeForce GTX powered processor, or not processor, but a video card, graphics card, you can play Steam games on this. This is why this actually could be an awesome new portable console, because it's not just like portable titles that they're putting on it, like the DS or the PS Vita, those kind of titles, but it's actually like full-fledged games, like right here, it shows you the games that would be compatible with it, like as of now, if they put it out today. It says it's got things like Assassin's Creed, Battlefield 3, Borderlands 2, Dishonored, Hawk, and Portal 2, and what I'm really excited about is Skyrim. Seeing Skyrim on a portable device would be amazing, and it just looks completely awesome. And I'm hoping that this thing doesn't fall through the cracks like other things, such as I know Razer was trying to make a portable device, or not really portable, more like a, a tablet with little controllers on the side. But uh, this thing, let's go through the features just to see it. It's got an NVIDIA Tegra 4 72 core processor. And that is just an amazing processor that they're coming out for this. And the controller, it is just a full size gaming controller that is just should it says to feel like a normal like Xbox controller or a PS3 controller not feel all cheaply made and such which should be awesome and the cool thing is it's got a multi-touch display and as it shows right there the beautifulness of Skyrim on this 5 inch 720p display it's multi-touch and it should have really really crisp and clear 720p HD video and it's got built-in speakers, which it's pretty basic for a, uh, for a, uh, whatchamacallit, portable gaming device. But it's also got Wi-Fi. This is how it, um, it'll connect to your computer to play a scene. It's not completely portable, as of what I've been reading about it. It's not completely portable. You have to be on a Wi-Fi network to access your Steam library, and it only has certain games from Steam able to play at launch, but, um, it's not announced for launch yet, it's just like just like a sort of beta announcement sort of thing. But uh, from what I've been reading, uh, right here it says you um, speed Wi-Fi, it goes over Wi-Fi basically right there, saying stuff about Wi-Fi. You can check and see if your computer is compatible, which I have a GeForce GTX pro um, video card. So I'm actually looking at this and it looks pretty awesome if this is true. And uh, yeah, you got your your Android stuff. I'm not really that big into mobile, um, like mobile phone gaming and stuff. I just use my phone as a phone, but I have an Android phone. But there's all these titles on here. Like there's a Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, which actually be pretty funny. But uh, I'm really looking forward to this. And if you're thinking about this and you're thinking this is an awesome sort of innovation in portable gaming, just leave a like on the video, and if you want to see more coverage on the NVIDIA Shield, Project Shield as it is, then uh, subscribe for more. And also if you want to see gameplays of mine, which is mainly what I do on this channel, this is just a little thing I made right now just to, because uh, I thought it was pretty cool. But I mainly do gameplays and commentaries and stuff over games, so if you want to check that out, uh, subscribe. And I've been Tuspot everybody, thank you for watching, and peace out.